village, six miles or so to the south of the city centre. As you can see, played such an important yeah, role in the story of the league. peoples because this is where Paul and John met on Saturday, 6th of July in 1957. Well, in just a few moments, we'll be stopping at the gates of Strawberry Field. Just like Penny Lane, if you wish to, you better get off and take some photographs. Strawberry Field is only a five-minute walk from where John Lennon lived for most of his life in Liverpool. At the time that John lived in this particular part of the city in the 1940s, 50s and early 60s, Strawberry Field was a children's home that was run by the Salvation Army. At the time, the, uh, the entrance that we're going to see in a few moments was the main entrance into the children's home. There was originally a 19th century Victorian mansion house on the sides. Originally the mansion house was a private residence. It was purchased by the Salvation Army in the early 1930s and in the mid 1930s it was then opened as a children's home. And in fact Strawberry Field uh, remained as a children's home until as recently uh, as, uh, as nine years ago. The place is still today owned and operated by the Salvation Army. In recent times Strawberry Field has been used as a prayer centre where people could call in for a quiet time or prayer. But John knew the place quite simply as a children's home. And just like the village of Woolton in the summer months, they would often have garden parties in the grounds of Strawberry Fields, fundraising events uh, that, uh, that John was brought to with by his aunt and his uncle, his aunt Mimi and his uncle George. And we'll be going to see their house uh, after we've left Strawberry Field. So, in many respects, Strawberry Field was just like Penny Lane. It was a childhood memory, but in this case, just for John. We'll be there in just a, a, a couple of months. Pulling up to the gates of uh, Strawberry Field, we've just got a motorbike that's just about to move, so I think we'll, uh, unless he's staying, we'll, uh, we'll let him go. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we're going to move forward, and you'll be able to get off and take photos. It really help if the people uh, near to the front of the coach as you're getting off, please move down the side of the vehicle, that will help everybody else to get off. We're going to let you off into a fairly narrow area, but we want to keep you safe by protecting with the, uh, with the bus, so uh, please just uh, take care as you're uh, taking your photos. Again, uh, when you're happy with the photos, come back to the coach. But for the first half of the coach, if you could uh, just move right down the side of the vehicle, that would be uh, would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. 